One, two, three, go. Okay, so now um, I open up the rats. Okay, so you will see two compartments. One will be the chest and the abdomen. So how would you know which one is which? You always find this muscular structure right here. Okay, so it's in the middle of the two compartments. So that will be the diaphragm. Okay, so after you figure out where is the diaphragm, then everything becomes easier because rats would be mammals, so it's very similar to human. Okay, so if you start in the thoracic uh, region, you will see lungs, okay, one on each side, and the heart. So for the heart, uh, it's just like human heart. They have four chambers, two atria, and one ventricle. Oh, I'm sorry, two ventricle. Okay, if, if we cut it open, there will be two ventricles and then two atria. Okay, and there is a tubular structure if I opened up the diaphragm, and here this will be the liver. So remember, if that's the organ right above diaphragm, then that will be lungs and heart. If it's right below it, that's the liver. Okay, so liver, they have multiple lobes. Okay, and now let me remove the liver so I can uh, expose the bottom to show you guys. Okay. All right, so if I expose this area more, you will see a tubular structure actually going through diaphragm. That's the structure right here. That's actually esophagus, okay? So food go from mouth, go all the way through esophagus into the stomach, okay? So if I lift the stomach a little bit up, you will see like the swollen part. Usually it's swollen, okay? It was like crescent-shaped structure right here. That's the stomach, okay? And if you follow the stomach, go to the bottom, you will see this like film. It's like, it's not like very confined uh, organ, but it's like this in between uh, the stomach and intestine, that's pancreas, okay? But right next to pancreas, you will see this color organ. It's kind of similar to liver, but it's kind of original from the back, okay? And it's just on one side, and that will be spleen. Okay, so remember, pancreas is something has similar color with stomach and intestine. And it's kind of like tissue, just a piece of tissue. But spleen is a color very similar to liver in the origin from the back. Okay, so this one's a very confined uh, organ. And now let's follow downwards. You will see all those intestines. You don't have to know which one's large intestine, which one's small intestine. Just know it's intestine. Okay? And then if I flip everything up, you will see toward the bottom, that's kidney. Okay, so that's kidney. And then don't confuse kidney with spleen. I know there are positions or uh, why it's very close, but just know spleen is the one originally from the back, but it's kind of folding on at the front. But kidney just attaches to the back. Okay, so that's how you tell the difference. And then uh, lastly, you need to know uh, testes. Okay, so that testes is just external structure. We don't actually dissect this part, okay? If you want, you can go further and dissect it. But just know if he put a pin in this area, he's asking about testes, okay? And he will ask you if this one's male or female. If it has testes, that will be male. It's right, it's right here. Okay, so that's um, testes. So is that the ball sack? Yes, that's the ball sack, okay? And for the nervous system, um, you don't have to know on the dissection, okay? Just know on the model. And circuitry system, just know it's the heart and there are double circuits. Other than that, the last organ, the urinary bladder, just remember if he pulled out a pouch from the bottom, okay, something like that. Towards the bottom. Yeah, if it's a pouch like towards the bottom and he pulled out like that, then no, that's urinary bladder. Okay, so the tips to study for red dissection is going through by waters, okay, from chest to abdomen and then find the diaphragm first and then figure out where's the organ. Okay, and that's it.